US President Joe Biden on Monday summoned the four top congressional leaders to White House next week after the Treasury warned that the government could run short of cash to pay its bill in June. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said in a letter to the Congress that the agency will be unlikely to meet all U.S. government payment obligations potentially as early as June 1st without any action by Congress. The estimate raised the risk that the United States is headed to an unprecedented default that would shake the global economy, adding new urgency to political calculations in Washington where Democrats and Republicans were grading for a month-long standoff. Biden also extended invitations to House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries, Senate Majority leader Chuck Schumer and Republican leader Mitch McCollin. House Republicans passed a bill to raise the debt limit last week that included steep cuts to spending from health care of the poor to air traffic controllers. Biden has steadfastly said that he will not negotiate over the debt ceiling increase but will discuss budget cuts after a new limit is passed. After hitting the 31.4 trillion US dollar borrowing cap on January 19th, Yellen previously told the Congress that Treasury would keep up the payments on debt, federal benefits and make other spendings by using extraordinary cash management measures. In 2011, a similar debt ceiling fight took the country to the brink of default and prompted a downgrade of the country's top-notch credit rating. This time, negotiations may be even more difficult.